Pioneer Day is a syrup festival every fall. It's always in October. Uh, it's taken the place of the old time syrup shopping in the Lee County Historical Fair. Pioneer Day is an awesome time for the community, for kids, adults, people of all ages to come to this tiny little historic old Greek Indian village originally to learn about our past, Alabama's past. We're trying to preserve the arts at Pioneer Day in Lochapoga. We want to show everybody what it was like to live in the 1850s. It's a great day to come out and learn about old time crafts, uh, taste some good biscuits and syrup, um, and see all the different demonstrations that we present here at Pioneer Park. And we have activities and the people doing things and using things and, and acting like they were in the old time. And it lets you know what history was like. We're soap making, the old way, the old time of life soap. We're making candles, we're making butter, we're open heart cooking to show that it was hard living in the 1850s. Second Saturday is every second Saturday of the month. Uh, we open our doors here at Pioneer Park. All of our buildings, we have 11 historical buildings, and we have Pioneer demonstrations here. Uh, we teach about our past. Uh, we uh, teach people how to do the old time crafts. And it's a great family day to come out. It's always free to the public. Second Saturday in Lochapopa at Pioneer Park is a time where if you weren't able to attend Pioneer Day, you can come on second Saturday and still experience looking at the arts and crafts that the people did in the 1800s, spinning, weaving, and then we've got Dr. Jim Whitty, the Forge Master, showing you how to make a knife out of a railroad spike, and these kids love it. We invite the public to come out here, it's free. Come and see, we've got living history going on, we've got the blacksmith, we've got um, Creek Indian traditional artists, uh, we have all of our buildings are open, Some of, one of them is, is the old uh, pharmacy, another one is full of all the farm implements and tools that you can see how people used to farm before we had tractors. One of the things I like is when, I, when we have kids out here, I let them sit down on things and touch things, it's not like a museum that you're looking through a glass and you can't see it, you can't touch it, it's like you can actually get a feel for how tall these people are by coming in the doorways. We have a chair here that was built in 1790 and I let them all sit in this chair and say, you know, the president in 1790 was George Washington. You're sitting in a chair that's just like the one George Washington sat in and they all get excited because they know George Washington. We're all about it. We can the historical society and Pioneer Day showing people that history is fun. We are preserving We've got log cabins, we've got food making, we've got preserving of food, we've got spinning and weaving. How they made their clothes, they couldn't go to Walmart. We have people doing uh, living history and reenacting to show you what life was like 50 years ago, 100 years ago, even 200 years ago. Presently, we're in a cabin that was built uh, by and for a, a Creek Indian in the 1830s. We you know, allow the kids to come through to see how pine needle baskets are made or how yarn is spun, how you make you know, furniture, how you make clothing, how you make cloth. And so we want to bring it to life to where they're here talking to people that are doing this stuff right from their eyes. We want everybody around this community to join Lee County Historical Society. Every donation that comes in through membership uh, goes to support the work here at Pioneer Park. With your help, we actually can preserve and maintain the buildings and the grounds. By joining, you not only help us preserve this, but you get people even more interested. With your just $25, you can help us do this.